Dn cross R unit vector divided by R square. Now let's substitute here values. So this is mu naught by 4 pi. I Dn cross R unit what? Dn magnitude of Dn magnitude of R unit vector into sine of angle between them. Divide. And what is the magnitude of R? R vector. The radius itself. This is the radius, na? So this is R square. Now what is the value of theta over here? It is 90. Dn is tangential. The angle between Dn and R is 90. So sine theta is 1. What is the magnitude of R unit vector? 1. It is a unit vector. It is a unit vector. Unit vector magnitude is 1. Okay. So even this is gone. Magnitude of Dn is just Dn. Like this. This is dB. So total magnitude will be integral of this. Yeah. Can you integrate and find out how much this? Integral of dB. What this is equal to? Mu naught i by 4 pi r this constant comes out of integral this into integral dL. Integral dL is what? Where is that here? 2 pi r. 2 pi r. 2 pi r. 2 pi r. So mu naught i into 2 pi r divided by 4 pi r square. So this is mu naught i by 2 r. Remember this is very important formula. The magnetic field because of a loop is mu naught i by 2 r. Because of a circular loop at the center, mu naught i by 2 r. Any doubt? Clear? Just clear? All of you? Huh? Huh? What? How did you approach? No, R square is anyway constant. It doesn't matter whether R is inside. It will not be integrated. You will only integrate DL only. Okay. Fine. So this is the magnetic field into a circle, full circle. What if you have a part of a circle? What if the situation is like this? Theta R correct. Tell me what is the magnetic field at the center over here? Now tell me 
or draw the direction of binary field because of this current element. How is this current element? Direction is where? Direction of this field is where? Into the plane. Into the plane. Going in, it comes out and then goes in. Do you get this? Into the plane. Okay? Can you draw the magnetic field at this point because of that DL? First you need to know where is R vector. Where it is? R is where? You have to join DL at this point. So this is your R vector. Now you have to find out direction of DL cross R. That is the direction of magnetic field due to the DL. Where the direction of DL and DL cross R? DL cross R, where it is? Going this way. Can you tell me one thing? DL cross R will be perpendicular to DL? Yeah. And perpendicular R. Both. Now please draw it. Downwards where? On the board itself? Yes. See this DL is going into the board. So whatever is in the plane is perpendicular to this line? On the board. Yeah. On the board like this? Yes. This is your degree or not? This should be 90 degree. DL cross R. Please make doubt that. We have doubt. This is the DB direction of that DL. Okay. Now can you draw the magnetic field direction due to this DL. How about this DL? This comes out or going in? This DL will go out? Come out. Come out. Come out. So at this point, what is the direction of magnetic field due to this DL? Where it is? This is DL and this is R. So where it will be? It will be like this. Like that? How it will be? DL cross R. DL comes out. DL cross R, it should be that way somewhere. DL cross R. It comes out. Okay? So DL cross R will be like this. This should be 90 degree. Okay? If I have drawn magnetic field because of two DLs diametrically opposite, because you can see that along this line the magnetic field get cancelled away. The component magnetic field along this line get cancelled away or not? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Right? So no point finding magnetic field perpendicular to the line. Because anyway there is zero due to symmetry. I can take any two diametrically opposite points, their magnetic field component perpendicular to the line get cancelled away. Okay? So all I have to do is take the component along the axis and integrate that only. That will be my total magnetic field. Uh, all, all of you agree to this? Yes. Okay? So now remove DL. What make it easy to remove? Draw it again. Suppose this angle is theta. So I know that total magnetic field will be along the axis only. Hence we need to integrate along the axis. to get total magnetic field P. Okay? So by the way, the SI unit of magnetic field is Tesla. Please write down. SI unit of magnetic field is Tesla. One of the greatest scientists, greatest practical scientist, they say, is Nikola Tesla. Anyways, so, what is the component of DB along the line, along the axis? How much it is? DB? DB cos theta, you decide it about it. Sin theta. Sin theta, right? This is 9 times theta. This angle is 9 times theta. This is theta. DB cos theta is this component. DB sin theta is along the line, along the axis. 
Okay? So basically, total magnetic field, which is integral of dv, is nothing but the integral of dv sin theta itself. Because the integral of dv cos theta is zero, which is component in this direction. Okay. Now, according to Biot-Savart law, dv is mu naught by four pi. I dl cross r vector divided by r square. So can you substitute this dv? Can you simplify this dv for this dl over here? Get the magnitude only. How much it will be? In terms of whatever is given, the radius of this circle is capital R. Let us say. How much it will be? Dv. Ah. So this will be mu naught by four pi. How much will be dl cross r? Magnitude of dl, magnitude of r vector into sine of angle between them. What is the angle between dl and r? This is dl. And r is like this, so angle is 90 degree. This dl, dl is going inside the board. Entire board is perpendicular to the dl. So anything on the board is perpendicular to dl itself. Okay? So this is just I into dl divided by what? This distance square, which is how much? R square plus Z square. This is dv. Okay. Now you know what is sin theta also. What is sin theta? Look at the diagram. R divided by this distance. Ready? Now can you substitute everything and integrate? It's very simple integration. The expression may look complicated, but then integration is nothing else. It's straightforward. You do it. Correct. So most of you have got it. Alright, so I'll just write down here. So P will be integral dv sin theta dv is this. So mu naught i divided by 4 pi r square plus z square. Sin theta is what? R divided by root over r square plus z square into dl. Now you can see that all of this is a constant. It can come out of integral. So this is this will be mu naught i r divided by 4 pi r square plus z square to the power 3 by 2 integral of dl integral of dl is how much? 2 by r so this when you substitute you will get mu naught i r square to 2 by r divided by 2 times r square plus z square to the power 3 by 2 this should be your magnetic field along the axis at a distance of z from the center Okay, now when you put z equal to 0, what do you get? At the center, it should be at the center, but does, does it match with what I used the right earlier? If you put z equal to 0, I am getting mu naught i divided by 2 r. Okay, so both are in sync. Okay, so even this expression you must remember, it is important. Fine? Any doubts? Tell now. No doubts. No doubts.